The Louisiana beef industry is at a disadvantage right now despite high prices for cattle. That's because for more than a year, the Louisiana Beef Industry Council has not been able to collect the 50 cent per head state checkoff ranchers paid in the past. Now there's a bill moving through the Louisiana legislature that could fix all of that. When these cattle are sold, they not only provide money to the rancher who raised them, but to a program designed to help the cattle industry as a whole. It's called a checkoff program, and currently, across the country, the USDA collects $1 for every head of cattle sold. 50 cents of that stays in Louisiana. In 1985, Louisiana ranchers voted to assess an additional 50 cents for the checkoff from every head of cattle sold in the state. However, in 2013, the Louisiana Supreme Court ruled that the rice checkoff program was unconstitutional because the fee was not authorized by the Louisiana legislature. That impacted nearly every commodity checkoff program in the state, including the beef checkoff program. Since then, ranchers have continued to pay the $1 federal assessment, but not the 50 cents adopted in 1985. The Louisiana Beef Industry Council oversees spending of the checkoff dollars and uses a portion of that money to sponsor Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen right here on Twyla. Currently, that board is made up of six members from the Louisiana Cattlemen's Association, three from the Louisiana Farm Bureau, and one from the Louisiana Marketing Association, a group representing the sale barns where cattle are sold. House Bill 760 by Representative Jim Fannin of Jonesboro is a first step to reestablishing the Louisiana Beef Checkoff Program by restructuring the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Three members from the LCA, three members from the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation, two members from the sale barns, and one member from the cattle producers of Louisiana. That's why the bill was originally filed, was to get a solid infrastructure in place to move forward and work with the cattle checkoff program. But until and unless you have a board that represents the industry equitably, you're not going to have a checkoff program that promotes the entire industry equitably. Fannin's bill first went before the House Ag Committee. Louisiana Farm Bureau Livestock Committee Chair Marty Woldridge supports the bill. Well, we feel great. This has been a long time coming. Our committee's been working back and forth on this for approximately four years now. And we finally brought it to a point that our state board approved unanimous to move forward with change in the LBIC. And today, once we've brought the bill uh, with Mr. Fannin bringing the bill forward, we have now passed it through the Ag Committee and it's headed to the floor for a vote. And on the House floor, representatives voted 74 and 30 against to send Fannin's bill to the Senate. The industry will come together as a whole now because this is what the majority of the industry has asked for. It's a more equitable distribution because you're going to have people from all different facets of the industry, the sale barns, the independent cattlemen, the Cattlemen's Association and Farm Bureau on there. So we're going to have a wider uh, array of the representatives. Louisiana Farm Bureau Legislative Specialist Joe Mapes says while Fannin's bill does not reinstate the Louisiana checkoff, it sets the foundation for Louisiana cattle ranchers to have more direct representation on the board, which decides how much of that money would be spent on education, research, and promotion. It's a bill Mapes says Governor Bobby Jindal would likely sign once it hits his desk. This is a, a bill that's important to 10,000 cattlemen in Louisiana, Farm Bureau representing somewhere around, you know, 7,500 or so. Uh, I think the governor understands how important this is to agriculture in Louisiana. The bill will now head to the Senate Ag Committee. We'll keep you updated on its progress.